Now the next output based question is this. We have been provided a value object over here and we have been provided a multiply function which takes this value object which basically spreads this object over here inside of this x variable and then we are console logging x dot number into 2. Okay, fine. So first time this multiply function will run, what's gonna happen is x have been provided this value. So this value will be taken from over here. Since this is the default value and we're not sending anything from here. So this is obviously going to be taken from over here. So this number is 10. Okay, fine. And since we are doing this spread operator over here, what this will do is this will not give it the reference to this original object. This will simply clone the object over here. Number equals 10 and number into two is going to give us 20. Simply in the second call as well, this is going to give us 20. But in the third call, what's going on? we're passing this value right here this this direct object into this multiply so in this case this will not take this default value it will not take this default value it will simply take this value over here and it will have the reference to that value so now when we say x dot number into 2 this will print 20 but now what has happened is it has modified this number inside of this object so the next time that we call this value with this this is going to print 40 because this number has been modified to 20 since we directly passed this value inside this params. So let's see the output 20, 20, 20, 40. So yep, that is how it's done.